Drum roll, please. Claw marks. I have very disappointing news. <laughs> what the locals refer to as the death rock. Fun time, delicious. <laughs> 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 India, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be another travel vlog. Girl, it is 9.50 in the morning. Oh, on Sunday, hold on. Hello. Okay, bye. Okay, so we are getting ready to leave this hotel, girl. This is part two of the travel vlog. If you guys have not seen part one, girl, when you're done watching this vlog, be sure you go back and watch part one, okay? But we're getting to ready to head out of this hotel. So it's time to go. I really just wanted to go ahead and start the vlog. Next thing up is probably a little mini montage to get us to our next destination. And then I will chat with you guys again in a moment. Boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let you smoke it. I got diamonds doing since he slides in both kids. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. And now I keep the guala in my shorty bag. You know she won a mom when she tattooed that. I'm a lover boy. She got a toy. Oh, we are at our destination. So let's go ahead and do a quick little room tour. The room is super cute, small and quaint, but like you have everything you need. I didn't show y'all. Let's see. I think, do we have a closet? We have our closet here. I can put stuff at the top and then I can hang up all of my little stuff on the hangers, put my shoes down here and period, full with the mirror. Okay, love it bathroom if y'all have never been on a cruise before the bathrooms are small but like everything you need right really nice lighting too by the way so we are going to be spending the next seven days on the princess cruise ship going to Alaska so I'm so excited we have three different ports in Alaska we'll be getting off and doing um different excursions and stuff today is Sunday so we're doing Sunday to Sunday so we literally just got here so if you guys have not seen part one of the 13 day family vacation vlogs then definitely be sure to go ahead and check that out after you watch this one but I'm super duper excited I have my door I keep looking because I have my door open because technically our rooms are not ready yet but we just came to like put our bag down we're getting ready to go ahead and do a little bit of exploring on the ship so I was gonna leave my I don't know I'm gonna see should I leave, leave my bag in here let me see we've made it to lunch Birthday. Yes, we have. Okay. Happy Sailor. Yes. We have not taken off yet. It's 1.38. The ship doesn't leave till 4. So we're having pizza at this little restaurant. Cheers. Our first lunch. Cheers. Mm, yeah, yeah, like that, and then a couple Pizza. little things for like uh, appetite. Yeah, that sounds, and just like that. That sounds good. Nice. So, yeah. cooking that advance, and I wanted to find out from Eddie if he has um, the tasting dishes. Oh, you know, it's all and, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. first piece of luggage has arrived. My oh my gosh, my shoulders, my carry on is so heavy. I literally have my MacBook in it, I have makeup, I have like all my chargers and stuff for my computer. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like my shoulders, I cannot. So, 
Oh, I think I can finally put it down because when we first got here, the rooms weren't technically ready, so our door was still open. But now our door is closed, so I can officially leave this in here. I am going to unpack um, a little bit, but I think not right now. So literally, because they just put your bags like outside your door, they're tagged with your name and stuff on it. So I'm just going to put it right here because we're going to go explore a little bit. It's two, three, four. So we're getting ready to go to pizza the pizza was so good so now that we've had that now i need to go get an ice cream cone i need to go find it i believe it's on the 16th floor everything i just i love cruises because everything is like paid for like you go eat you eat whatever you want you drink whatever you want whatever you want to do at any time of day you just do it like it's great i have a envelope on my bed oh this is i'm going to the spa you guys i'm going to the spa on Tuesday for 3.15, I'm doing a full body 50 minute massage. So this is just like my little um, paper for my services. Amazing, really, ugh, can't wait, can't wait. I'm so happy that I booked a spa appointment, oh my gosh. We're all going, well not, I mean, my mom's going and my stepdad's going, but we're all going different days because it was really hard to like get an appointment and we couldn't get them all for the same time, but. I'm still very excited. So uh, super cute. Okay, let's go ahead and continue our exploration. I came back to my room to try to upload a reel <laughs> real quick. And I looked out of my window after having my head down for like several minutes and I was like, oh my gosh, we've taken off. We've left the dock. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, okay. Oh, how stunning, please. What? It's like so long, Seattle. <laughs> Tonight we're doing the Segway dining room. It's nine of us, so we have this. <laughs> Thank you for coming. When I look at the two of them, you know, well. We're gonna go to Tom Thumb and get whatever, and he'll be like, No, I don't wanna do that. You know? It's from 9 30 to 11. That's up here. Yeah, I mean, that people go into Carol 250. Is it both? I said that if it's both, you said, Oh, you, you didn't even answer my question. You just said, You can still go in. No, if it's Happy Monday. It's 9 55 a.m. in the morning. I am getting ready to look for something to wear. I just got up. My family went to, uh, I was about to say went to dinner, went to breakfast 
this morning I think for like 8 or 8 30 and I was like I will not be joining you guys <laughs> I will be sleeping in today I'm not setting an alarm I will just wake up when I wake up so I'm up and I'm like okay let me try to find something to wear um we're gonna be on the ship today today is an at sea day so we're just gonna be doing like whatever on the ship at 11 i don't know if i'm gonna make it to the 11 o'clock or 11 15 um like putt putt thing my mom signed us up for and then at three o'clock we have a wine tasting or 3 15 or something which is gonna be super cute so i'm really excited for that and then tonight is formal night so we have to come back and like do my makeup get dressed go take our formal pictures and then go to our formal night dinner so yeah that's the plan for today so I'm literally just going to look for something to throw on like wash up and then go ahead and head downstairs and try to find something to eat um so yeah let me just see I'm like mm, what did I, I don't know I had I literally had planned out most of my outfits for the day but I don't I don't know I'm trying to see is that what I actually want to wear or do I want to wear something else whatever I wear I'm not going to be in it long <laughs> because at like four I'll be back in my room changing getting ready for dinner so let me find something put on some clothes and then I will come back and we will go to breakfast and head downstairs we're having breakfast i don't even know if y'all can hear me because the music is so loud but i literally just got pound cake one for me one for my mom and this quiche and then i also got hot tea so we're just sitting over here hopefully i don't have to cut this clip but i think it's 11.01 our um golf thing is in like 15 minutes Do y'all see the green mat right here? Remember that. Oh no, they are showing the movie. I told you that. Well, oh, I mean, so if you're out here, oh, okay. like if you're sitting right there, it's cold. I don't know the temperature, but it is cold. Ooh, oh, the sun is mm -hmm. coming out a little bit though. They're showing the movie. We're literally just walking around. Oh, is it? Probably lights. We're looking at the food for today. When in doubt, go see what kind of food there is. This is how people eat so much on cruises. But still, like no meat. Lots of fruit. Soup. I don't think we walked down there yet. We're gonna sticky toffee pudding. We're gonna try it. Let's be careful myself. Let's try it. Is everybody at the table? Is it raisins? Is it raisins? I didn't have raisins. Mm. It's good. Love this. We're exploring the ship. We found a part that we had not even been to yesterday, so we're at the back of the boat. There's some sun over here. I'm trying to see. They have all these little, you know, like lounge chairs all lined up. It's the back of the ship, so you can see how we're like moving. So maybe we'll lay here for a little bit with a little sunlight. Let's see. This is nice up here by the sun. By the sun, yes. Yes. So pretty. The wind is so strong. Literally could have on a coat. I mean, what a great way to run on the treadmill, right? I'm getting ready to go to a wine tasting. I went back to the room for a little bit. It's now 2.53, so I'm about to meet my mom and my stepdad over there. It's in the, one of the dining rooms. Literally, she's calling me right now. I'm walking to the elevator. Y'all are in the dining room. <laughs> the wine tasting. We have our little, our little chart. A little snack, all our glasses. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> 
This looks very cute. Very cute. Did y'all eat? What did y'all? Y'all went to the um. Oh, I just saw them briefly as I was running here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, they were not moving swiftly. Welcome to the fine wine tasting. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? How are you doing? Hey, yes. make some noise. All right. All right. First of all, I would like you all to give a round of applause to yourself. You know, I'm coming in large numbers and you know, enhancing this wine tasting, the fine wine tasting under the Discovery Princess. On the table, give a nice swirl. That's what you would normally do. When you when you do that, sometimes some we need to be very careful. Because the other day when I was telling about this, a gentleman went to the table and gave a swirl with his red wine. All the table was full of red. Okay, so be very careful. The awareness you will find always on the side of your tongue. The bitterness always in the back. And salt is the center of the tongue. Black cherries. Jammy, yeah, jammy. What else? What else? Once after we go through the three wines that we're still missing to taste. Just before we start, I wanted to thank the wine team, the dining team, because they set up things about the wine. It's actually good. It is. Lots of dry sensations, right? So what can you tell me about the Moet? The Moet Ice Imperial, sometimes known as just Ice Imperial, sometimes known as Moet Ice, just simply as Moet Ice. Cheers! Cheers. 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 And let's try our last wine for the day, the Delicious. Moet Ice. I love it. Now, being a demi sec, having some That's good. Uh, sugar. All the bottles that we tried all the wines this moet ice so good it's 4 4 p.m no, no, this is not us. us yes it is no it's not we're on opposite side oh these are different elevators this is oh. even and so we gotta go see look all the way down 102 to, the to 704 this we're because we're on the, that's what happened remember when i got in the elevator <sighs> yes yes and i was on the wrong side we we're out. at the whole other end of the ship so we have to but walk we're on this, aisle, we're we're on this side yes this is right but now. we're at the okay, so oh where oh oh okay yes washing machine works. We don't have irons in our room. You have to go to the laundry We're back to use the iron. I came late last night after midnight. So I they was have people in there? No, I was oh. But there was in there. Look, I'm trying to get the lid Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we missed the wedding chapel. It oh, right it's here. right here. It's right here. There's a wedding chapel in here. And a couple was getting married earlier today. Oh, they have food in here. Is this, this our is reception? Uh -uh. Oh. This is the concierge. I thought you could come in here and get food. No, no. I don't think so. You have to. Um, no, this is for people. What? We're just trying to figure out what this is. Oh, it's a concert. <laughs> this is you have to have a key to get it. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Zombie, Cute. Okay. Okay. Let's we really don't have time for this. I just wanted to see. We have less than two hours to be ready for formal pictures. We're all wearing black. Oh, it didn't take long. I'm here. Isn't this so cute how... It's like your little picture and uh, everything is unlocked. Okay. okay, I will do my best. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm back in the room, literally about to hurry up and get dressed. The wine tasting was so cute. We tried um, like five, two white wines, three red wines, and a champagne, which the champagne was the, um, the Moet Ice. So good. It's kind of sweet. So if you like sweeter tasting champagnes a1 so i'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower hop in the shower hop out the shower where's my scarf so i could um 
I have to do my makeup. We're taking pictures tonight. I literally haven't put on makeup the whole trip. Like the whole time we were in Seattle, no makeup. And then today will be my first day doing it. So I'm going to have to do something quick. I don't even know if I'm going to have time for lashes, to be honest. Because y'all know, lashes be like the worst part of doing your makeup. So I'm just trying to hurry up. Luckily, I don't have to iron anything. Let me. I don't have to. Oh, shit. Oh, no, my ring. I don't have to iron anything, but I'm like, let me go ahead and take out my dress and just throw it on the bed. I've never worn this dress before, but I've had it for like three years. And I was like, you know what? This is a black dress. This could be formal. I'm about to go ahead and bring this on vacation because I didn't even buy any. Um, I didn't buy any like formal dress clothes. Any clothes I bought, y'all saw was like the Amazon sets and stuff, which I think I told y'all in the last vlog, though, though, those sets are bomb. So let's see put my dress here I oh I unpacked a little bit well honestly not really I took out my shoes and stuff my shoes and like my jackets and hung those in the closet put my shoes in there on the floor and then here's my dress right here literally it's from a, just a little local boutique looks like something that you will wear to like a dance <laughs> it's so real simple like little black fitted cocktail dress so I'm gonna wear this my shoes are in the closet my bag I'm doing y'all the packing cubes the packing cubes are so cute honestly I moved y'all over here but now y'all are behind the light but anyways loving the packing cubes first time really having them so this is my little clutch for tonight so I just need to pack this it has a little chain strap which is perfect and then actually I could pack it Ooh, pack this right now transfer from one to the other tonight we're doing special oh I'm sorry y'all are sideways but tonight we're doing specialty dining so we are going to uh, we're doing Italian so there's this Italian restaurant I'm gonna have to fix my battery there's this Italian there's okay so there's like three main dining rooms and then there are specialty restaurants so they have like steak houses they have an Italian restaurant they have um I don't even I don't even know what else but like plenty of I'm putting this in here but I don't even know this is not the perfume I'm wearing oh I'm wearing black opium tonight I'm literally jumping all over the place but as things are coming to my mind I'm just like okay but yeah we're doing specialty dining at one of the Italian restaurants tonight well the Italian restaurant because there's only one um yeah that's pretty much it until I put my perfume in here I have my I don't need any money everything is prepaid for you don't need any money on the cruise <laughs> every literally everything is paid for whatever you want you just walk up to the place and just get it and that's it so that's one of the things that I love about cruises because it's like once you come on I'll come on the cruise like that's it like there's no more money being spent you know so okay um I'm just trying to like take off all my jewelry and go get clean oh, let me open my oh my gosh it's so beautiful I just love the water if you love the water like you've never been on a cruise girl you gotta go you have to go start off with like a little four day or something this is my third my third cruise the first two that I've been on oh I think do I have everything the first two that I went on were Royal Caribbean and then this one is now princess so the first two were like tropical ports but we'll talk about all that I'll give y'all a rundown my overview of all my thoughts and stuff about the ship and everything because like I said this is my third cruise so I'm not like a an expert but you know so let me go ahead and hop in the shower I'll be back dressed final look basically it's giving little back little black dress and we all are actually wearing black tonight it wasn't planned but I was like oh I'm wearing black my mom was wearing black so she was like oh well let's see if everybody else has black and they do so we'll all be in black for our formal picture I'm pretty sure super cute right I'm like okay never worn dress making an appearance loving it let me take a picture real quick and then we're about to head out the door
so many. I got the the Belvedere this time. Oh, you got good. it. Uh, I got that too. Oh, it's good. Too. I, got I can't remember it. we used to drink Belvedere one time. By Titi. I never bought it. I got kettle. Oh. As crews, y'all bought it. Yes. You told me. Yeah, right. And we bought it. It's nice and and I, I know you don't want to try it. So you heard of Jobbies yeah, before? Oh. Jobbies? J O Y B E S. What's that talking yes. about? No, 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 no. Wake up early. I thought this was gonna come first. Yeah. No, she no. said that um, the salad is set. Oh, okay. This is so cute. It's literally so cute. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Thank you. You don't like it? No, my friend though. I was like how she even tried it. Tell me, how was it? Course number four. Five? Oh yes, the rice ball. Okay. She was saying I showed her what I needed and whatever. And she called the people. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. Tatiana, what? Thank you, it's Italian yeah. one. Yes, I know. Thank you. What, you want us to sleep here tonight or what? Sorry? You trying to keep us here tonight? Sample. You want us to sleep here? Mm -hmm. We have pillows there, you see? Comfortable sofas, blankets, I don't have, but where I guess it's fine. Where mama gonna sleep? We know. No, All mama of you here, right? Say, Are we here? <laughs> Dinner was delish. I'm back in the room getting re getting ready to get out my stuff for tomorrow i think it's like a little after 10 but it's still light outside like it's still daylight we're almost to alaska at this point and y'all know well if you don't know that alaska doesn't really have like nighttime um <laughs> in the summer months they only have like i want to say maybe like five hours of like dark so it's still very much bright outside it literally looks like it's like five o'clock so i'm um i'll have to go ahead and get in the bed girl go ahead and take my shower go to sleep because i have to be up for probably seven we're planning to go to breakfast at 8 15 so probably like seven i'm about to get my clothes out Tomorrow is our very first excursion, and we are going to, drum roll please, <laughs> we are going to the rainforest. I'm super excited. It's a um, like a hike. I believe it's really like a hike through the rainforest, literally. So I'm trying to see like all my layered clothing because it is going to be cold. So I'm just trying to see exactly what I want to put on tomorrow I'm trying to see because I'm going to just like layer my clothes so I'm wearing this activewear set which I've had y'all y'all know what this is like I'm sure y'all have seen this on social media <laughs> it's like a super popular like trendy little workout set it looks like this it's black and gray. I sold it at my store for a while. If you guys didn't know, I do have a loungewear store, ajayofficial.com. But first, before I made it like specifically loungewear, I used to have other things. So anyway, I'll put the name across the screen, girl, in case you want to shop. But this set I used to sell at my store. So I have this. Um, and then I'm also going to do, I need to, where did I put my black leggings? I packed some black leggings, some like more like stockings but like without the feet um so i'm gonna wear those underneath and then my like a thick sweater that i brought and then like my tennis shoes so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish getting my stuff out for tonight honestly take my shower get in the bed and then i will check in with you guys in the morning before we get ready to head out for the day good morning from alaska oh my gosh it's literally so pretty i feel like like y'all can see the other boats over there look how stunning like all the greenery it's literally just beautiful it is 8 20 in the morning i am oh no wait is it 8 20 yes it's, i was like wait it's 8 20 or is it 7 20 because we gained an hour but it's 8 20 i'm dressed for the day i'm literally just wearing like a workout set because i'm pretty sure i already told you guys we're going to the rainforest so today's fit i literally have I'm gonna put on two pairs of leggings. I have this pair, I'm gonna put the pair that matches this jacket on top and then I have like my raincoat and my sweater. Here are my other leggings and my little fanny pack. We're gonna go to breakfast first. So I'm actually about to go meet my family right now. I'm super excited. I am gonna be leaving you guys here today. <laughs> um, well, I'm gonna, you know, put y'all, lock y'all up in my suitcase and then I'll just vlog on my phone because 
I don't know, this is going to be like a more active, um, a more active excursion. So I don't want to bring my camera to the, because I don't know, we're, it's kind of like a hike, you know, so yeah. But I'm super excited. The weather, I mean, it's giving very much like, literally when I opened my blinds this morning, I was like, it looks like twilight outside my window. <laughs> Which excites me so much because I love forest and greenery and I'm excited to go be in nature today. Oh my gosh, I really, this is so tight. I don't even, I really want to be able to do this. <laughs> I really want to be able to wear two pairs of leggings. I tried to look up the temperature on my phone, but the weather is not coming up. Like, it's not picking up the location. So, I don't know. I know it's cold, and I know in the rainforest it's going to be even colder. So, we're about to go. Like I said, I need to use the bathroom real quick before I pull up the rest of my leggings. So, yeah, next clips y'all see will probably be us on the bus or something. Oh, look! The little... I don't know what kind of boat that is, but... So cute and yellow. So I will talk to you guys a little later. Oh, putting on a little gloss. bus last week. Yeah, hi Z. Hi Z. Population here. There's the population of the city, which is about 8,600 year-round folks. And then people want to know the island. So, but it's this island, and there's an island next to us it's called Pennock Island. So that island and our island, Revilla Island, together, 13,200 year-round. And I already gave it away that I live in El Paso, Texas. So I drove from El Paso to Bellingham with papers that's going to be so great. I've been waiting for this thing for a long time. I'm so excited about my yacht that I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, there it is, Panic Island. See those houses over there? There's no roads. It's just houses. If they want food or anything, they have to bring their boat over here, get it, and then take it back. So, Panic Island and Revilla Island together, 13,200. That's, it's like a mock version of a Simpson village. Well, inside the clan house, there's four house posts that hold it up. River to the right, anyone? I get things like Ketchikan River, Revilla River, River River, Alaska River, Tungus River. It's actually a trick question. It's the Pacific Ocean. It does have three other names, though. Cool. And if you have an older passport, U.S. passport, it's on page 25. Now, the Chief Cayenne Pool is a memorial pole. Memorial pole, there's seven. See how we're at an angle to the left? Uh, color to it, right? So, I like to think this is probably, this could be a male bear from this season. Um, but you can imagine the amount of force that's needed to really cut into that tree because it's, it's in there pretty deep. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Do you have a run cross bear? Oh, absolutely. Uh -huh. That's why I got my bear flare and my walkie. Uh -huh. but male bears coming into the forest. Hey, if you think that you're bigger, badder, and taller than me, go ahead and leave your mark. Otherwise, you need to try a different forest because this one's mine. So that is what that is. But do you remember what I mentioned about that pitch? Mm -hmm. Does this look like an old or a fresh mark? Right. Oh, old. Oh, yeah, it's got that dark color to it. Well, let me show you. I like to think that's probably pitch. So, so the pitch is something that it develops to protect itself from any kind of scratches. 
But the interesting thing about the pitch is we can tell a lot by the color. So you see this clear kind of color right here? That is the newer pitch. And when it gets to this kind of black, deep color, that is older. So when we look at bear markings, we like to see the color of the pitch and that helps determine how old it is. Claw marks. Yeah, bear daycare, yeah. Because mama bear is the one in charge of her cubs, right? Oh, I love getting the smell of that. Okay. Yeah. You want to get a smell? Feel free. Yeah. So that beautiful red cedar mm. trunk that it was growing out of has now gone through the whole process of life mm. and is now decomposed back mm. into soil. It smells good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It smells like mm -hmm. forest. Mm -hmm. You guys are more than welcome to get inside that tree if you want. Take some pictures. Mm, so cool. yeah. We don't get any venomous spiders or snakes in this rainforest. It's too far north, and we're yeah, on an island. Berries. but we are going to be doing some nature time traveling, all right? Temperate rainforest in the world. We've got 16.8 million acres that make us the tiny national forest. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. Oh yeah. Do y'all see it? Look right, right there. Us. How cool. But he's just a little cold and slimy. You want to give him a feel? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Africans did used to use that slime oh, for dental issues is. or for children that were teething. Do it. Yes, yeah, exactly. Oh, little cutie pie, he might kind of wake up and say hi. <laughs> Anybody want to give him a kiss? No, oh, not that far. No, sometimes he gets some <laughs> Another one, the eagle right there. Got here is a 15 foot. Um, you guys just come right up to the little tiny lake. Now, what I got here is a 15 foot red cedar story pole. And uh, this is telling the Oregon story of Raven. I'm right about four months into it, and, and I got two weeks, and I'll be done with this. So all I gotta do is add the beak to it. And that piece I'm working on right there is gonna be the beak. And I'm gonna attach it with a method called mortise and tenon, where I'll carve out the beak, the back side of the beak, all the spot that fit right inside this notch. And I'll just use glue to glue it all in. After that's all done, I just gotta tease it up and it'll be finished. Beautiful. And then uh, all the poles I carved here just stay right here on the site. So we don't ship them or sell them or nothing. So go ahead, go in, and make yourself all the way to the end once you've got oh, the picture. Oh my god. You guys can move about inside the enclosure. And yes, they are real. A few people in the back. Oh, I'm caught. Thank you. Come on in, guys. Oh, the owl. You guys. How? Oh, how cute. All right, excellent. Well, hello everyone. Hi. My name is Xander. I'd like to welcome all of you to the Alaska Raptor Center. We're a nonprofit organization that specializes in the rescue, rehab, and release of wild native birds. Now, down here in Ketchikan, we're an educational extension to our main facility, which is up in Sitka, Alaska. We're the only <laughs> we just got back. We're getting ready to go. <laughs> Hola, 
we're back in the room it's seven it's not seven it's <laughs> it's 2 19 it's 2 19 i am actually getting ready to go to the spa i'm super full the the rainforest amazing amazing excursion like loved it absolutely loved it we basically took a whole tour through the rainforest we also got to see this little like bird sanctuary where they had like a bald eagle and two owls we saw like several bald eagles on our um on our tour it was just it was so nice i loved it it's like a gloomy rainy wet day and they say it rains here we're in ketchikan um alaska they say it rains here two-thirds of the year <laughs> so yeah this is like normal weather for them it's like it's super pretty it's just super pretty i just love it so we went to go eat we stopped and got a little glass of rosé y'all saw and then we went to um just like the big buffet to go eat um lunch so we did that and now i'm back in my room about to go ahead and change my clothes to go to the spa so originally i brought i brought a black I was supposed to bring this little gray dress I don't know if I brought it or not but I know I had this little black dress so I guess I'll just put that on with a sweater because like it's cold <laughs> so I'm excited let me take I'm trying to take my jewelry off my appointment is for 3 15 but they say to come like 30 minutes before I guess to enjoy like the little um I don't know whatever little like room or whatever you sit in you know before you like get your massage so I'm excited I'm gonna go ahead and change and then I'll be back well that was the quickest massage ever <laughs> so the massage was canceled um I got there walked into the changing room put on my little robe I ended up keeping on these little um shoes because the ones that they had I was like these are way too small <laughs> and I'd be like going around to the lockers and then the lockers didn't lock so I ended up carrying around my purse and my bag went into the little relaxation room was like sitting on the little chase lounge watching us float through the water and she came to bring me she was like I'm gonna be your masseuse or whatever she brought me an iPad like to fill out answer these questions or whatever and she was like I'm gonna um be back okay I was like my appointment was for 3 15 so I was like okay it's 3 20 it's 3 25 then at like almost 3 30 somebody came in and they were like we're sorry but your masseuse um is sick and she had to go to the um the medical floor or whatever so I'm just like oh <laughs> all right well I guess no massage for me today so they were able to reschedule me for Saturday um so yeah my mom and my stepdad are going Saturday as well like midday I think around like 12 and they made my appointment for 11 30 so hopefully that works out and I get to go Saturday um but yeah now it's like 3 40 ish dinner we're doing dinner for six o'clock and we're gonna do like a little before dinner drink at five so I guess I'll just go ahead and get in the shower I'm wearing this which y'all have seen if y'all watched if y'all keep up with the vlogs y'all saw I literally just wore this outfit to um the little like poetry night that I went to the little strapless top and the little skirt from Fashion Nova so I'm just gonna wear that and I'm gonna do I'm gonna wear silver today so I'm just gonna wear this little silver bag and I'm gonna wear these little black platform shoes no makeup today I'm just gonna wait and do my makeup again for formal night so yeah no makeup tonight so it'll be real simple real quick little outfit I have pretty much got my clothes out for tomorrow morning as well I did want to change my socks <laughs> that I have planned to wear I think to something else I think I'm gonna wear my Vans fanny pack instead of my regular one because I'm gonna wear my Vans tomorrow so I can get that out I need to fix my nail but that's pretty much it so I'm literally just about to I guess go take my shower and just like get cleaned up <laughs> um and start preparing for our little evening we're gonna do dinner like I said at okay before dinner drinks at like five dinner is for six and then we're doing like um they don't call it a ma I think they call it an illusion show like a little magic show it's 45 minutes um at 7 30 so then after we do that we'll be done we'll be able to come back to our rooms and get ready because we have to be up tomorrow I think for like five <laughs> I think for like five in the morning I want to say our um we leave the ship at like 6 30 in the morning so tomorrow is going to be a super long day um for our excursion but I'm really 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 excited so yeah this is what the views are giving Let's have a look see. Can I do it with one oh one hand? Okay. Super duper foggy, like 
crazy foggy. You literally cannot see anything over there. But like very, very peaceful. I just love it. The beautiful water. Ready for dinner. So outfit, which I said y'all have seen, little shoes, bag, and decided to wear my hair down tonight. I put on just like a little bit of makeup. I was actually able to go ahead, the lighting, where should I stand? This is better. Um, I was actually able to go ahead and take some pics. I had never taken pictures of my hair. I don't know if I've said it in this vlog yet or not, but I have another channel, um, which is completely devoted to hair. So there will be a tutorial on these um, Boho Goddess braids. If it's not already up, then it'll be going up. So definitely be sure you subscribe over there at India Ajay um, for all my hair content but yes we're getting ready to go downstairs to eat um i missed before dinner drinks but i did get my pictures done and my little intro little hair flipping video so it's perfect it's perfect so let's go ahead and go to dinner and then our little magic show hello everyone hello. hi huh look at you wear the shoe <laughs> y'all went to drink oh yeah well what <laughs> i got down there a little late but i had no seats Oh, um, the I had been in line 30 minutes trying to oh. get a more tea. Okay. So we still got our I am. Dinner. So when I got home, and she said, "What for dinner?" Oh, yeah. oh mm. that looks good. Hmm. Looks like a salmon. Looks like a salmon. Yes. I think it was funny. It was until she went to the prison. is uh, smiling and a space and a space this ball is for you hold the ball on top of your head like this i will count up to three on number three toss the ball behind you as far as you can go you ready you guys ready catch it one two three go romantic music <laughs> You have something a little bit more dramatic, Alan, by any chance, anything at all. This sounds better. As uh, Bongo is removing the carabiner from the box, let's give a big hand for Bongo from the Philippines. Thank you, Bongo. One. very disappointing news so it's the next morning it is like 6 605 in the morning we are at um Endicott Arms in Alaska this is our second port our excursions for today have been canceled um this is the weather I don't have the glass open but y'all can see literally you can't see anything <laughs> The water is super calm, like it's barely moving. It looks so pretty. And then literally it's just all fog. So the boat is not able to dock because there's too much ice. Um, so there's nothing that they can do. They warned us last night. We went to the um, the Illusion show, which was so good. Like really, really enjoyed it. It was packed in there. Like they had the entire theater was full. Um, but at the end of the performance, um, one of the workers whatever for the ship um warned us that we will just kind of have to see how the weather is when we get here because like this this happens when the ship is not able to dock and then they have to cancel all the excursions so today it was actually going to be one of like the most exciting parts of the trip we were going to be going to the glaciers um on this like 
sea boat. I mean, I don't know exactly how the excursion was going to be set up, but we were going to be going to the glacier. So that was going to be just so exciting, such an amazing um, experience. But unfortunately, we won't be doing that. So um, we have another stop. We're going to Juno next. I believe we're going to Juno now, like later today. And we're supposed to be doing a tram there. So I, I don't know. I think it's kind of like a kind of like a streetcar, but like goes up and like through the mountains so you can like see all the views and stuff. So that is supposed to be happening later on today. So if we can get there, weather permitting, we will be able to have that excursion. So, I mean, it, it kind of sucks, like, but I mean, there's literally nothing that you can do. <laughs> there's nothing that you can do about it. So yeah, it's 6.07. We're already up. I'm going to go ahead and finish um, getting dressed. I don't need to put on all my layers, but I'll probably just throw on my jean jacket and then go upstairs um, and eat because I mean we're already we're already dressed and ready now after we eat maybe we'll come back to our rooms and just lay down or something but we'll see um what goes on I'm super sad I really that was gonna be so cool like it was gonna be so cool but what can you do we're in the pastry shop getting a brand muffin Oh, oh. Ma'am, I dropped this on accident. What kind of muffin? Oh, banana chip. Oh, okay. Oh, they don't have tea. So the teas are available on the beverage stations over here. There's black tea, lemon tea, all okay. spices, mint, different kinds. It's most like a, more like a self-service. So on the beverage stations behind here, there's cups, there's some water, there's a lot of Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. This is let it down now. Oh. This is let it down. The hot water. Let it down. Oh. Oh. Yes, what? Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> That's enough. Thank you. Things are I was like, what? Oh, I don't get it. The first morning I <laughs> It was did my it. first time using it. Oh yeah, I was That's tapping it, hitting it, and they're like, just do this. I'm like, I'm trying. They need some directions on it. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was overflowing. And oh then no. I, and then I didn't know if you tapped it again, it stopped it. would stop, right. Oh gosh, it was a, it's a learning curve here. Clearly. Okay, so this is the beverage station. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, y'all, we are getting ready to get off the boat. It is, hold on, I'm trying to put my earring in. These earrings, by the way, so freaking cute. Like, all the stuff that I ended up getting from um, from Macy's, all the jewelry. Where's the light? This is, like, so cute, right? These are Anne Klein. Adorable. And I have some other ones, some other hoops. Y'all saw everything. If y'all watched the vlogs, y'all saw when I went shopping. If y'all haven't seen the shop with me for vacay, go check that out, girl, after you watch this vlog. But it is 1026 oh i thought it was tonight okay well i didn't get my dress out we have i think i already told y'all we have like many different formal nights um and like themed nights so one of the themed nights is white and gold we thought it was tonight but apparently it's tomorrow so that's cool so that means that we can be even more casual um for dinner today well i was going to be casual but like maybe we won't even change for dinner since we're uh leaving out late like our day is different than what it was going to be so since the excursion was canceled this morning, we went to breakfast. Y'all saw that. And then I came back to my room and just took a little mini nap. My family went downstairs to like, they call it the piazza. It's literally just like the center of the ship. And they always have people like um, either singing or playing games. 
like in the middle like you know where like audience participation and stuff like that so uh that's what they did that's where they've been we have these two forms that we need to fill out first and then i'm trying to make sure let me put my phone in here um and then we're about to go so let me show you outside literally beautiful oh. okay wait i need two hands Hello from Juneau, Alaska. I'm trying to get, let me see, let me zoom in so y'all can really see. Like, it's literally so pretty. There we go. All the way zoomed in. Okay, y'all can see there's a ship over there. I don't see a name. I don't know which one that is. All oh, like the beautiful fog. You can see all the landscape. Those are literally houses over there. That's the Crown Princess, another um, cruise ship. Not the crown princess. Oh yes it is. Crown princess. We are just princess, I think. So pretty. Ah, oh, so this is just the docking station of Juno. I'm like, actually, let me feel, it doesn't feel too bad out here. I'm still put on what I planned. I have on two pairs of leggings. I'm wearing that same outfit I wore to the airport. Y'all know these um, Amazon sets come with two, um, they come with two tops. So I brought both tops and I'm wearing the other top today and I'm wearing the leggings again because I didn't know, um, I brought the cream set, but I decided I'm just going to wear it tomorrow because I wanted to wear my, well, I wanted to wear my, wear my socks. I wanted to wear my Vans today because of our first excursion because I thought it was going to be like wet out there and I didn't want to um my new balance are suede so I didn't want them to like get wet but turns out none of that matters because we didn't go to the first excursion but it's fine whatever so literally putting my little stuff back on and then we're going to head out we're going to be doing the tram um I think I already told y'all this the tram and then I think like walking around and stuff so we'll see I don't know exactly but I'm gonna take my camera today um since we're not doing any like water or like super physical activity so I just about to finish I already brushed my teeth again because I felt like after I napped I was like you my breath <laughs> but I um I'm just gonna finish putting on my clothes straighten up my room a little bit and then we will head out did I show y'all my outfit today I don't know I'll show y'all again this is the outfit I'm wearing it's definitely giving 80s vibes because I have on these little socks and then my hair is in this like updo thing and I'm wearing a jean jacket which let me grab it jean jacket and I think I'm about to decide if I want to do this just little cardigan underneath or this like super thick jacket so I'm about to go ahead and go I will see y'all on the tram oh I'm recording you. you look cute Next one. Oh, that was perfect. No, yeah. No, thank you. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Don't be shy. Get it, don't be shy. Don't be shy. You by yourself or me and you? Me and you. Okay. Oh, well, we should take one then. Oh, yes. You can take it. We're going to take one together. Cute. Get us together. Side, yes. Juno. Where are you going to? Yes. In Alaska. Excellent. Come on, Come on up, ladies. Milan, here, hold. Oh my god. It's, it's already on. Too. So just hold it. Oh, nice and close. Hey, guys. What's up? Give your hand. Do you see Lucy? Mr. Dennis, my own. Cheese. Hold the side. Yes. Lucy. 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 Thank you. Enjoy your day. Follow the Instagram. I'm on the brand shot underscore. Thank you. What you said? <laughs> so stupid. She said, she said um, something, something underscore. So you must be giving a sh yourself a shout out. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Everyone yeah. follow yeah. Milan. Follow me. This is my thing. Hello. Let me get it out. I let her hold the camera and she's like, oh, am I a YouTuber now? <laughs> back in the room for two seconds we walked out there got through security and when we saw um they had the door open and we were like oh my god it's raining so 
because it is raining, I have on, y'all have see I have on a crop top, long sleeves. I'm gonna put on this little black cardigan that is like my dinner, <laughs> my dinner time sweater. Oh, it must, it's like misting. It's more than misting. I don't know. But like, we're not gonna carry umbrellas, so girl, good thing we have our raincoats. So I put this little sweater. Then I'm gonna put this. It basically gives me three layers. Good thing my outfit is all black because this is enough colors. We're inside waiting for the tram. All the places. Space Needle, check. The Shard, check. I wasn't vlogging back then so y'all missed this. Eiffel Tower, Empire State Building, and now the Golden Tram in Juneau, Alaska. How insane do I look? <laughs> I have on a poncho on top of everything. It's really not that cold, but it's raining. And the highest one is 1,800. We're only 1,800 feet. Y'all will get to see the, um, the line and the beautiful view. I'm super excited. I never vlog on my phone, so I'm like, should I look here or there? Entire everybody should be outside. How crazy, the warm season, 58 degrees. It rains 236 days out of 365. 80 inches of snow. How insane. Matching cap. We are ascending 1,800 feet above sea level on the only aerial tramway here in Southeast Alaska. Gold Bell Tramway is owned and operated by Gold Bell Inc., which is a local Alaska Native Corporation. We were built on August 10, 1996. The spruce. She said that. Oh, my ears. Okay. It has small sharp pines, but it is the largest spruce in the world. And at times, the visit with the local farmer who does much of his work right there in the gallery. And it features many local natives. Oh my gosh, look. Oh my God. Oh. This is the city over here. This, yeah. There's a restaurant up here. We will be unloading onto the sky bridge. Insane. <laughs> I'm stuck between insane and insanity. Oh my gosh, look. Thank you, Mitchell. Yeah. Did you know I heard something about hands? Something with hands. Did you touch it? Inside the restaurant. They have like a full menu. Oh, okay. Okay. This must be the gift shop. I think we're swimming in the wrong direction. We're in the gift shop. Oh, do they have a little, like, Alaska necklace? Hmm. Huh? I don't know. Hmm. Do they have any postcards? I'm getting it today. They had these yesterday. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Oh, it is. Wonder if they had an elevator. I do want a sweatshirt, but I honestly don't see anything that I want, so... It's what? Oh, she's refusing to serve She's refusing to serve me? Yes, because she took my ID, and I could see she was like, trying to figure out how old I was. I said, I'm 30. And then she handed it back to me and had an attitude talking about, will I have to check anyway? 
Yes. 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 Then now she, which is fine. I said, yes, and you can check it. Not a problem, but I could see you were calculating. So I said, I'm 30. And then you handed me back my ID with an attitude talking about why well, I don't have to serve you. Well, then baby, don't. Then don't. Then now she wants to, oh, well, I am the manager. I don't give a fuck who you are. But I mean, if you are the manager, this is how you're conducting yourself as a manager? Getting an attitude with customers? As a manager in a leadership role. This is the problem. This is the problem. Yes. Yes, it is. And we are inside of the restaurant at the tram in Juneau. So if you come here, just, you know, beware. Carving has his beer. Y'all were getting something? I think he ordered me one. He has two beers in front of him. Okay, well, you getting something else? He's standing over here. She's gonna be um in the back hiding. She's not coming out. She can see me right where I'm standing. If she was really a manager, she would come find the customer no matter where we have moved. Nothing. We have anything. We're getting ready to go. Huh? No, I don't want anything. Not at all. And as you can see, he came over and said nothing after I said I didn't want anything to drink. It doesn't matter. If I said I wanted something, didn't want something, that was your response. To just walk over and just stand there and not try to ask, okay, go ahead and explain to me what happened or what's going on. Nothing. This is Alaska for you. She's gone crazy. Y'all can see. My mother is still trying to talk to her. I'm done. It's dead. It's crazy. Crazy. Maybe I saw Jackson. There's nothing to say. There's nothing to say. We just need to go. No, but I'm saying, though, we have kind of nothing to talk about five times. She's it's in one ear out the other. She doesn't even comprehend. Move on. Done. Done. It's no need. It's really, honestly, and truly. Girl, just fake. Then at the end, she's gonna talk about she's sorry. Goodbye. Okay, y'all, we are back in the room. It is 3.32 on the clock. Um, dinner, we're going to do drinks at 5. No, drinks at 6. Dinner at 7. So I have plenty of time to get ready. And I'm putting on something casual. I don't know what it's going to be, but I am going to take... I'm taking a shower and change, but I'm going to put on something casual. So I'm going to see what I have kind of wish I would not have packed all these like super dressy clothes for dinner because it appears like on this ship people don't really like do the whole dress up thing for dinner I don't know some some people do but I don't know anyways trying to find more stuff that I can wear with just like my flat sandals like my little black platforms or these little flat gold sandals I brought so I'm gonna look and see um what they have but y'all just saw the clip before this was crabs so we went to this place called um I think it's Tracy's Crab Shack or Tracy's Crab something. It's like a world famous place and the crabs were really, really good. Y'all saw like how huge they were, the huge Alaskan um, crabs. It comes with butter, bread, and my mom and I also got um, a crab bisque, which was really good as well. So yeah, definitely recommend that place. Good service. Okay, everybody was nice and, um, and the food was great. It was super packed, but the line moved like pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, I would, I would recommend that if you come on a cruise and you, um, you're in Juneau and you go there. So yeah, um, 
I feel like y'all I explained what I explained from the um from the place before this which was taking the tram which is like the little cart all the way up to the top there's a restaurant up there the people at the restaurant were extremely rude um extremely I've never experienced anything like that ever in life there editing India here cutting in so you guys I felt like I didn't give any context about what happened I thought about just like cutting out all the clips because I didn't even explain to you guys what happened but I was like no I want to leave it in because this was my experience and this is really what happened so let me give you guys um, a little mini recap of what happened so we went to the restaurant at the tram, right? Upstairs is a gift shop, downstairs is the restaurant. We walk downstairs to the restaurant, my stepdad is at the bar. We're literally just gonna get a drink, then probably go sit down, and order some food. That was the plan, right? So my stepdad is ordering a beer for him, beer for my mom. I walk up and I decide I'm gonna get a rosé. So she takes his order, cool. She is like, I don't know if she acts, she probably didn't even ask if I want anything, girl. I was just like, I'll take, um, I'll take a rosé, right? So she's like, okay, let me see your ID. So I pull out my ID, no problem, fine, give her my ID. She's looking at the ID like this. Like I can see that she's trying to calculate how old I am, right? So I say I'm 30. Now I say it and like nothing has gone wrong at this point. So we're all still very upbeat, very jolly and everything. So I was like, almost said it like jokingly, like ha ha ha, like, you know, I was like, I'm 30. Like the way, the way that I said it, right? And then she gives me this look and hands it back to me and is like, well, I have to check it anyway. Okay. And I said, and that's not a problem, but I can see that you're trying to calculate. So I let you know that I'm 30. I said, you don't have to have an attitude. So then she says, okay, well, I don't have to serve you at all. How did we get here? How did we get from me saying that I'm 30 and you not being able to do simple math in your head to getting to the point to that you're not gonna serve me like never in my 30 years have I ever been anywhere and somebody said they were not gonna serve me like that was insane I how what is the jump what is the jump like that was crazy so anyway so I'm like well then don't you know like because at this point I don't even want it anymore after you've had an attitude and then now you're gonna tell me that you're not gonna serve me so I take my ID and my cousin is standing there. So she had just walked up. So I just was explaining to her what was going on. My stepdad waits for his beers. We walk off and go to the table. Oh, wait, 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 let me rewind. Cause I was like, after she said that, I said, okay, well, I need to speak with the manager. So then she says, well, I am the manager. And I said, okay, well, is there anybody above you who's managing you, right? And so I don't remember what she said at this point right but I leave I, I walk over to the table where the rest of my family is sitting and I like about two three minutes later some man walks up to the table and he's literally just standing there he's literally just standing there like for at least like a good almost 30 seconds and then he's like what can I get you I guess when he walked over he was waiting for me to say something like you're the manager you're coming over to find out what is going on with the situation why are you just standing here in a daze so he's like, well, what can I get you? I'm like, you can't give me anything. Like, I don't, I'm good. I don't want anything. Like, I, I'm done. I'm ready to leave. Only thing I want to do is leave this establishment, right? So I said nothing. You can't give me anything. And he's just like, and then walks off. Never asked what happened. Didn't ask anything about the situation, about me, about the employee. What is going on? Anything trying to get an understanding of, of what happened because it, nothing, nothing. Literally is just like, okay, and then leaves walks off and that's it now I didn't have my camera so I was recording on my phone which is why you guys didn't get the initial altercation the initial thing that happened when we're leaving I'm still recording on my phone and so I turn my camera and I show her on my vlog right and then I continue to walk off I literally showed the camera and I was like this is her this is the girl in the purple shirt that's her right so then as we're proceeding to go up the stairs, she comes running behind me talking about, I saw you take a picture of me. I said, oh, it wasn't a picture. I was recording. Um, and then she's like, well, no, 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 because I want to see um, if we can get this cleared up before you guys leave. And I'm just like, there is nothing to clear up at this point. Like you were rude AF. So was your manager. 
like it, crazy like I don't have anything to, anything for any of you at this point like goodbye Alaska see you never like that's literally the way that I was feeling at this point so my mom is standing right there so she starts to trying to talk to the girl I start walking up the stairs right and then I'm just like I can see them not even talking or going back and forth having an altercation literally um everything that the girl was saying she was contradicting herself nothing made any type of sense nothing made any type of sense like I don't no idea no idea like I I have no idea that was just the craziest thing so then we ended up leaving obviously nothing was resolved didn't get any drinks any food we left the restaurant was actually like old and raggedy like it wasn't give like we thought it was going to be like upscale fine dining we thought it was going to be giving like um like Swiss Alps it was going to be giving like oh we're like high in the clouds at this like beautiful restaurant with these like floor to ceiling windows and this you know five star food like it's not that it's literally somewhere to go and get chicken tenders and fries like with carpet on the floor like it's it's not it's not giving that and neither are the people <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to cut in give y'all a little bit of context about what happened like I said I started to cut just cut all those clips but I was like no no let me just come in real quick and just explain to y'all what went on so let's go ahead and get back into the vlog I have never been somewhere and somebody told me, well, then we're not going to serve you. We, we, we refuse to serve you is basically what she said. Um, turns out she was um, bartending, but she was the manager. And then she brought out some man who I guess was above her, but he didn't, um, he didn't engage. He literally just came over, said nothing. And then I guess was just like, oh, well, what can I get you? Um, you can ask me about the situation. You can ask me about what your employee did or didn't do. Um, you can ask me about, you know, what, what's going on. Like, there was no concern for the customer or the situation at hand. Um, so he, not only was the person above her rude, but she was rude as well. Um, so definitely would not recommend. Um, and yes, I am going to include her face. And y'all know the name of the place. There's only one place. It's the tram takes you up to the top of the restaurant. So yes, um, y'all just saw her in the clip before. Um, and everything that I said, I'm going to leave in the video, in the vlog, because that was my experience. Now you may come and you may have a great experience and that's great. But that was my experience here. And I'm not going to cut out anything because that's really what happened. So um, yeah, that was that. Y'all see the plane on the water? No, I think it's going to take off. <laughs> I think it's going to take flight. It's picking up speed, so... There it goes. It's one of the water planes. I forgot the exact name. But it like touches down in the water and then it flies away. Outfit. Y'all have seen this dress before. It's from Rainbow. Just a little simple dress. Some little. Oh, these sandals are from Rainbow too. The little gold um, sandals. Little crossbody bag. Don't know where this is from. And then I have my hair in a ponytail. The dress has like a little bit of back out and the ruching. And then I have on these super pretty earrings from Forever 21. They're this. Um, they're like crystal. I have this like. I'm trying to get where the light is. But y'all can see. They have like this little crystal. Um, detail on them which I think is just so pretty so that's the look for tonight something very simple I put on just a little bit of makeup no lashes and I use that NYX um I keep turning all around but I use that NYX brow glue that I bought love it I think my eyebrows can y'all see I think they look really good y'all can't see them the best but I feel like they look really good today so I like it, the product a lot um so we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go I have my medallion which I need to get in and out of my room I think I already showed y'all hi so everyone is at the I believe it's the crown bar so we're gonna go up there for just a little bit because our dinner reservation is for seven and it's 6 42 so I just would have had known earlier I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have took the shower and dress I wouldn't just kept my clothes on. Yes. It is wonderful. I cannot Shrimp and so scallops she, with polenta. She's never seen show, but she knows. Good morning from Alaska. 
today we are in Ketchikan, I believe. My view today is actually um, our um, like docking station and then you can see the people down there walking, getting off of the ship. So I'm in my pajamas, but <laughs> oh yeah, you can see all the, um... oh my God, this is so pretty. Look, the mountains. I'm trying to see, it's definitely cold, but I don't know. The water, oh my gosh, look at the water. It's like, it's blue. Stunning. Well, time, like, people are literally getting off of the ship right now. I don't think, no one can see me up here. Um, I look crazy, I literally just woke up. It's 6, 6.46 in the morning. I'm trying to figure out what I wanna wear. Um, I have to be ready for 8.15, and some of my family is going to breakfast, so I'm gonna try to go down there and at least get like a little bran muffin or something, but, I'm trying to see what I want to put on. It's not raining. So I think I can I think I can wear my vans. I'm not gonna wear my new balance just because they're white and it's um they're like cream and white and light colored. So I'm gonna do my tan vans. So I think I'm gonna wear this today. This shirt, I mean, is um like a regular like sports bra and these leggings. This is from Forever 21. It's really like a workout set. But I think I can, I think I can do that today. I'm dressed for the day. It's 8.07. Today's outfit, courtesy of Amazon. <laughs> these are the, um, the sets that I got. Y'all know, we already went over these sets. This is the cream one. And these are my, um, my little Vans, little crossbody cream bag. And then I'm wearing this, like, cream. It's like a thin like jean shirt kind of thing and then I'm put this black sweater under it so I think that should keep me warm throughout the day I think we are going to be mostly inside today like on a bus we're doing kind of like a tour and then we're going to have a salmon bake um for lunch so yeah that's the plan I'm about to get ready to go we're supposed to meet um our group for like 8 15 it's 8 07 so I'm going to go ahead and head downstairs I'm bringing my camera today so yeah let's go ahead and go this is the unmentionable over here. Up on the very, very top, you'll see what the locals refer to as the death rock. And they have crews up there, the geologists, spending the summer. They're living in tents up there. And they're measuring the crack around the death rock. It's gonna come down. Someday it's, it's gonna come down. On busy days like today, there's probably 12 different trains going. Oh, there's one on the other side of the tr that train, too. I might be able to get something like this. Uh-huh. I wonder where it takes you. When 100,000 people were here making their way up the pass, they did not have the train. The train wasn't here yet. The president oh, also brought say. one of his mistresses, one, one of his mistresses up here. Uh -huh. So, little train car just like that, just like you guys are going to be on. Some of them have ghosts in there. The TV shows, the Ghost Hunter TV shows, have been here several times to film our ghost. To remove the snow from the tracks. Old 52 is sitting there, the original steam engine, coming into the boardwalk. This is a park system. Now, if you're interested in any of those free things that I talked about, you'll make your way over here to the visitor center. This is the park's visitor center. They'll tell you all about that stuff. original building red onion saloon this is part of your tour oh they've turned the red lights on upstairs there for you <laughs> now if you walk in off the street and you want to do that tour they will charge you the same price today that they were charging during the gold rush it's ten dollars for 20 minutes ascot saloon down on the corner there are ghosts in there and there are ghosts over here on the left hand side in the golden north hotel Guess for several of his books here on uh, call of the wild from from Skagway. As we go past Fifth Street here, up on the mountainside, you'll see how they used to advertise. There's a pocket watch page up there. It goes with currencies right here on the corner. Please make eye contact with me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there is traffic downtown, you guys. So yeah, if you spend any time downtown, I know that you have a runoff. 
is filled with glacial silt, which is the ground down rock. That's the job of the glacier. Makes the water very, very dense. It's like a, a fine sand in the water. It's all the way over here to Skagway, 90 miles away. And that's the reason why our road goes to Canada. I'd much rather have these guys behind me. Coming up on the left-hand side, down in the Slot Canyon, at the end of the bridge here, beautiful waterfall. This is named after Captain Billy Moore, the original settler down in Skagway. You can look around and see a few glaciers. You'll see the blue ice up there. There are so many glaciers left in this pass by Big Mama that they don't even have names. Seven miles long, 200 feet deep, but it freezes solid in the wintertime. The fresh air. It smells good. It does, yes. Oh, excuse me. Oh, it smells good. Huh? It smells good. It smells good. It does. Oh, it's this fresh air. You've never smelled it before. Yeah, this is fresh air. This is what real air smells like. Without pollution. Hey, y'all. So, we're getting on the train. So, we took this bus back here. I think I said earlier we're in Ketch we were in Ketchikan. We were not in Ketchikan. We already went there. We're in Skagway. So, we took the bus, got a tour. Y'all saw, like, the scenic route. And now we're about to get on this train. It is 14 cars long. I think we're in like the second to the last one, but we're basically gonna go like into the mountains and go down and get to see the views. And then after that, I think it's the salmon bake and then we have like more things to do. So y'all will see, I just wanted to check in. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're on the platform of the train. We're able to like go out. Can y'all see the glaciers? We're so close to the rocks. It's like you can touch them. But you can't. <laughs> Liarsville, Alaska. Liarsville. <laughs> no, Liarsville, Alaska. We're at this, um, I don't really know how to describe it. It almost looks kind of like a campsite um, a little bit. We're having lunch here. This is where our salmon bake is. So we have a little drink thing up here where we can get wine and beer and stuff. And then we're going to go to the back and go get, um, go get food. So this is what it looks like. Literally looks like a campsite. I think the people who work here live here, <laughs> like in tents and stuff. And then this is where we're gonna be eating. That's my grandmother sitting right there. And then that's the food. So y'all will see when we come back around, but I was like, let me give a little mini tour of the grounds. It's just like so, um, it's like we're camping. It's like we're camping. It's, you know, very much into nature. Right through the ways and Oh. oh my gosh, this is the same print I used to have. Oh yes. It yeah. literally is yeah. the same. How nostalgic. Hi. How's it going? Hi. You got um I got to get me no, we're just getting started, so no. Fair enough. Okay. Thank you. Salad. Oh, look, um, is it, oh, is it the same on both sides? On both sides. I think it is. Because we 
you could have. Because I just need right here. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. A little cool tone. Okay. Oh, that's cool as well. Salmon. Salmon. Let's try the salmon. We're going to the gift shop. It's interesting. Like okay. I'm gonna this one. I still say. I'm gonna get this one. No t shirts for me because they don't have no. Um, hopefully, a ship have like a. This is the best we can do. We're in the Red Onion Saloon. Not quite exactly sure what it's gonna be like. A little show, I think. Um, it's like a tour of a brothel, I believe. Welcome to the wallpaper room, folks. Now, first things first, glance back up at the ceiling. You'll notice a couple different rows of nails. We've got one almost um, halfway there, kind of bisecting the room. Another one further down that way by those back doors. So those nails are indicators where walls used to be. Oh my God. So right now, we are standing in what would have been about two and a quarter crib rooms. <gasps> the crib rooms, of course, were the individual rooms where our girls were living in and working out of. Originally, here at the Red Onion, we had ten crib rooms, five rooms on either side of this long hallway running right down the middle. Now notice, of course, all of these different layers of wallpaper that we uncovered right here at the Red Onion. Now this is actually my the favorite forms. room in the entire museum because each of these different wallpapers represents a different girl. An now folks, our next room is our only intact crib room and it is set up pretty similarly to how a girl's room would have actually looked back then. First thing you'll notice, the bed. It's called a three-quarter size twin, and it is tiny, but that's the actual size of the beds that our girls were sleeping in and somehow working out of. Now right over the headboard, you'll see some pinups on the wall. Those are from our army barracks days. Right next to those, a framed stocking. Now that stocking, we actually found stuffed inside one of our walls here when we were doing renovations. We think maybe as a form of soundproofing, perhaps insulation, neither one of which the Red Onion has, even to this day. And then lastly, folks, I want you to notice on that front wall, right next to the window, a little glass bottle of Lysol. Now just a quick check, I never know how international we are. Does everybody know what Lysol is? Yes. Okay. Yes. You folks may not know that one of its original intended uses was as a so-called feminine cleanser. Yes, and it was thought to have contraceptive properties. Oh. Now the formula back then was even harsher than it is today. So as you can imagine, not only was this extremely unpleasant for these women, but also incredibly, incredibly dangerous. Adam takes 50% of that. The bouncer, 25% leaving our girls with a dollar and 25 cents per trick working from about 6 p.m to 6 a.m now i know that doesn't sound like a lot of money but you have to keep in mind that the cost of living in skagway back in 1898 was about six dollars a day and the most money a woman working in a so-called respectable trade could possibly hope to make was about three dollars a day so if you compare a dollar and 25 cents every 15 minutes 12 hour shifts housing and meals uh included to three dollars for an entire day's worth of work 
Well, it's going to start to make a lot of sense why so many women did choose to turn to this trade. It really was the best, and in many cases, the only way for a woman to make enough money to survive. These women were some of our earliest residents, our most consistent residents, and certainly some of our wealthiest residents. So we quite literally are standing on the foundations that they helped build today. We are incredibly proud of their history and incredibly honored to share it with you folks as you pass through our tiny town. Now my loves, I'm going to walk ahead of you. I'll be waiting around the corner by the exit. Happy to answer any questions you may have. The room. Hello, we are back in the room. It is 4.03 p.m. and the day is not quite over. So tonight is white and gold night. Um, we have, they're calling it, I think a white and gold piazza party. So I think it's just gonna be like music or whatever. Maybe they'll have champagne or something in the big like open area of the ship. So we're gonna be doing that after we eat dinner. So we're taking pictures at six o'clock in our white and gold clothes and then we're going to dinner in one of the dining rooms actually a different dining room than the other three three nights or however many nights we went to a different dining room tonight and then the little white and gold piazza parties after that and then after that is they're calling it i believe midnight sun um so the sun like literally never goes down <laughs> so we will see um it's for 9 30 so it's supposed to be I don't know I think like watching the sunset or something because the sun isn't set so late so we'll see um but basically I'm getting ready to go ahead and take a shower and start getting ready and then I realized I got something on my jacket so luckily I have that tied to go um that tied to go pin so I'm about to use that real quick and then go ahead and get dressed I have a white dress which I hung it up in the closet let me just This is the dress. I have not worn this dress in years. I don't know if I really like it all that much and I didn't try it on. So I have another option. I have this like champagne colored like pants set. Y'all know like the, the pants with like the button down shirt and like the silky set material that everybody wears. I have one of those in like a champagne color. So if I don't like the way that white dress looks, I'm just gonna put that on. Technically it's not white or gold. But I feel like it's champagne. It's like champagne white or like champagne gold, right? So I feel like it can it can pass. So, oh, since I haven't worn that, I have that um, I have that as an option. So, yeah, I really just wanted to check in. Everything was, um, where are we? Um, how did I say? Sego? Skag? Skagway. Skagway. That's where we are. S. K-A-G-W-A-Y, Skagway. Their population is literally like 800 people. <laughs> y'all saw from everything I showed y'all that it's literally like all mountains, all landscape. They have one grocery store, one gas station, one like, I don't, I don't even know. There's like, no, there's nothing here. And they have like this small little area that they call like town, like they're going into town or whatever. It's so, it's so crazy that like people live here you know like I don't know I mean I could see myself coming to visit like I like outdoors and doing outdoors activities and stuff but I, I don't know living here in a place that only has like three roads roads like not even highways like three roads it's it's very interesting but it's beautiful like it's because it's like so untouched you know so yeah anyways it's been good um that was our well sort of our last port we went into Canada today as well that's why we needed our um our passports for this so we are we basically crossed into um British Columbia like the uh military check people whatever we call them military check people whatever we call them actually came on our tour bus to check our passports um so that was kind of a very interesting experience but it was great so we are gonna have one more port but I don't know if we're going to be getting off we don't have an excursion there so we may like hop off the boat for a little bit but we'll see as of right now I really just wanted to update y'all on what was going on tonight 
and yeah i'm about to go ahead and get dressed and stuff and then i'll talk to y'all i'll check in in a little bit i mean the views are just insanity what like please the views are absolutely stunning okay oh i'm looking at my watch i didn't have my watch on it's 6 06 p.m i am dressed ready we have a little red we have a little red lip tonight okay i am really not a red lip kind of girl <laughs> i'm really not a red type of girl like red lips red clothes red shoes like i i just don't really i don't really do it but I decided to do a little red lip tonight, little bedazzle on the earrings, on the necklace, wearing my fave new bracelet that I love. My other little bracelet, both of the bracelets are from Macy's, Ring, Fashion Nova, other ring, Amazon, necklace, Fashion Nova, earrings, Fashion Nova, little belt thing, ASOS, and then set is from girl rainbow rainbow okay um these are my slippers not wearing these <laughs> i'm wearing my clear heels right here and this little clear and gold bag that is tonight's outfit something very simple i've worn this before y'all have literally seen this i wore this outfit to brunch not long ago and yeah i just decided i would throw it on tonight the the theme for tonight is white and gold so i'm feeling like this is like champagne gold okay that's what it's giving so yeah because the dress no ma'am oh i don't it's not even over here anymore I put it, I rolled it up and put it in my bag. I tried it on before I got in the shower and I was like, nah, I, I knew I didn't like this dress. So I definitely need to get that out of my closet, period. I'm really happy. Oh, I'm really happy that I have this. I have my door open. So those are the people over there. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and go downstairs so we can take pics and stuff. And then I will see you guys at dinner and et cetera and beyond. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> We're going to have a table already in like three, four minutes. Okay. Yep. okay. Thank, Thank you, guys. Uh -huh. okay. Yum. Puff pastry with, I think, shrimp and lobster. Something. Yum. And how cute is the bowl? I love this. I love this. like that. Oh, intuition. Two with a thousand dollars. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. Very good. Oh, yeah. share a shrimp cocktail. Yes. Okay, just put some no way, brother. Oh yes. Sorry. Which one? Yes, thank you. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Huh? I love it. This day and age. Like, well, let's raise our glasses before we eat. Raise your glasses. Raise your glasses. Play fun time. Delicious food. I got the same thing. Oh, you got the same thing. That is a good one. I heard you. Thank 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 I did. No, a Sunday. Yeah. I have a Sunday. Blueberry cobla. Trying to quickly walk over. Oh my gosh, look! You guys. Look. The sun. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me zoom in. The northern, the northern stuff. Wow. Yeah. How stunning. Can y'all see the mountains in the distance? Stunning. The water. Oh my god, we saw a little um seal earlier. The little head. We just saw the head. We didn't get to see the whole thing. So cute. It was adorable. 
This is so pretty. It is. Beautiful. Oh, our room is right on top of this. We can see it from our balcony, probably. Midnight sun. my balcony I have a slight headache so I haven't done anything I've literally just been sleeping it's after 12 I think it's like 12 30 or something so I went upstairs to 16 which is like the buffet area and got made a salad really just like a big salad and got some chicken so I'm about to eat that and then just hang out in my room now there is another wine tasting today I think at 3 30 so I'm gonna um I might end up going to that we'll see otherwise I'll just get ready for dinner later tonight tonight is formal night so we're taking pictures again um I brought this like gold dress y'all will see so I'm gonna do that but yeah I really honestly I came back I wasn't gonna vlog I came back to my room um with my salad and then the housekeeping person was here so I'm literally just standing on my balcony and I was like okay well I guess I'll just talk to y'all while he because he's in the middle of like changing the sheets so I'm just like okay well I guess I'll just talk to my vlog because what else am I supposed to do but hopefully he's done and I can just go back in and eat my salad and then check in with y'all later on it's cold outside the wind is super strong um it's really pretty though very pretty we're on our way to Canada we're going to Victoria Canada it's our last stop we're only we get there Saturday but we're only going to be there for like six hours we don't have I don't know if I told y'all this already or not we don't have an excursion but we might get off the boat we get there at 6 p.m and we leave at midnight but it's going to be still light outside so we'll see what we end up doing but um but yeah like I said I just was like oh, let me just talk to y'all while I wait remind me to never wear press on nails to any vacation longer than five days if the vacation is longer than five days I am not wearing press on nails this is my first time wearing press on nails on like a long vacation like this never again I've literally been re-gluing nails it's like since I got here like I, I just I'm over it I'm over it I'm dressed as y'all can see I don't know oh here's my phone right here it's 6 45 my phone has not updated yet my phone says 5 45 but we're actually an hour ahead it's 6 45 our dinner reservation is for 7 15 so there my, the rest of my family is already down there we're about to take our last set of pictures um it is formal night I think I already said that that it's formal night so I have this little gold dress on and that's it I'm literally just re-gluing these two nails and then, oh I should have put my shoes on before I did this but that's okay outfit I actually have no idea where anything is from. I ordered this dress from a boutique a long time ago, like not long ago, but like a year, at least a year ago when I was going to a wedding. And I just so happened to find these shoes that are like an exact match when I'm wearing the same little clear and gold bag as last night. So this is the fit. Really cute, classy, you know the vibes. That's where, yeah. It's table size. Huh? <laughs> well, it's like oh. for, the, for the table. That is it. It's everybody. Thank you. That's the fresh potato with the bone marrow. What's that over there? Oh, okay. And the mushroom. Okay, thank you. And
I am sorry <laughs> about the way the cruise vlog ended. I'm actually a little sick. Um, so firstly, let's address the background, baby, because the background is completely different. We are in our next location. Okay, so actually, I'm getting ready to start a new vlog right now, but I wanted to close out the Alaskan cruise vlog because I did not get to. So I'm pretty sure the last few things y'all saw before this was me going to the spa and then like a little bit of me like zipping up my suitcase I think I showed y'all and then like us getting off the ship so we did all that that was so I went to the spa yesterday and the rest of me like packing and stuff was this morning before we headed out so the cruise was absolutely amazing had a great great time the only thing is I ended up getting sick um towards the end um, my cousin who's with us, she had actually started feeling a little sick earlier um, in the week, but it was like in a cold type of way. She took some medicine and recovered in less than like 24 hours. Girl, me, I felt like I had a fever, like I was shivering. This was yesterday, literally. I was shivering. I feel like I had a fever, um, like congestion, I, TMI, I threw up one one time so it was it was a little bit but um i'm really you know you always have to look at the bright side of things so i'm really happy that that happened after all of our ports um i did miss our port last night which was in victoria canada i was not able to go we were there from 6 p.m until midnight my family did get off the ship and go I think they took like a train or something to downtown and like explored and ate and everything like that i stayed in my room dying girl <laughs> um but um yeah so i did miss that port which kind of sucked but i did make it to all um three of our alaskan ports which was really the point of the cruise so overall the cruise was amazing um it, i'm really upset that i'm like sick um but it is what it is nothing that we can do we have gotten since i last talked to y'all girl we have left the cruise ship we have got on a flight and we are now in another country <laughs> we are now in another country so that is going to be it for this Alaskan cruise seven day part two of our 13 day family vacation vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I don't know how long it's going to be. It may be one part or it may be two parts. Um, but yeah, we'll see girl. So that's really, this is just me wrapping up the cruise vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed filming it. Um, yeah, girl, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next part of the family vacation, which is where we are right now. I'm literally in my new hotel room. So yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I'm just trying to pep myself up and just speak positive thoughts and just be like, I'm good. I got a little, um, a little beat juice so i'm gonna drink this girl get some fruits and veggies in me and just hope it helps that is going to be it for this travel vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed be sure to like comment and subscribe girl and come back for the next travel vlog in just a few days i will see y'all in the next one bye